I've spent thousands of hours doing lead gen strategy, implementation, and experimentation, and I've developed a strategy that I think combines all the greatest parts of modern lead generation into one system. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how the system works, how it's all completely automated, and how it can allow you to get more leads in 2024. Before I start out any automation in Clay, I want to build out the copy first. I'm going to do a LinkedIn connect request to the prospect that I want to reach out to. If they accept the connect request, I'm going to send them a voice message, then a LinkedIn normal message, a second LinkedIn message, and then an email. If they don't accept, I'm going to send them a series of four emails, just like a generic email outbound flow. The key here is that if they respond to any of these emails, I'm going to stop the flow completely and of course respond to them manually. So you can see the voice message is pretty templated. I only have one personalization variable here. The only thing I'm personalizing is the first name and you'll see how AI generates that. The rest of it is completely done manually. So I'm just going to record the script over a voice message. For the LinkedIn second message, I'm going to say, hey, first name, I figured I'd follow up from that potentially cringe voice message with a few different ways you could use clay to automate systems within your company. So this entire flow is actually selling clay. That is the goal. What I'm doing in this personalization is I'm going to use AI to develop a list of custom use cases that you can do in clay. The second LinkedIn message is using a custom first line based on an intent signal. So an intent signal is something that shows a company or person might be interested in your service or product. If they're hiring for a sales position, they probably are in need of clay because clay helps automate sales. I want to make sure the company is hiring for a sales position. If they are hiring for that thing, I'm going to write this first line to them. If they were just hired for their role, I'm going to write this first line. If they just posted about AI recently, I'm going to show them this first line. And then of course I have a backup just in case none of those are a fit for the company or person that visits my website. I then have a series of emails. I have email one, which is that first line that I just mentioned before. The second one, which is referencing news about the company. The third one, which is referencing how long the person's been at a company with a custom picture of their profile picture in it. And the fourth message being, is there someone else who'd be better to talk to about automating outbound flows at the company name? Our next goal is to build out these personalizations. So for everybody visiting our website, it's able to find all the data required to write these custom lines and send them to an email sequencing tool. I'm going to introduce you to RB2B. RB2B is a tool that allows you to see who is visiting your website automatically, and you can connect it to Clay, which is the tool we're going to be using to do all of the enrichments and the custom personalized first lines with AI. And if you go into RB2B, you just have to connect it to your website using the pixel that you install to the website page. And then when you go to integrations, you'll actually find Clay right here. It's going to ask you for a webhook URL. In order to get that webhook URL, you just click create new table and scroll down to import data from webhook. And when you create a new table, you'll notice that it gives you a webhook URL. You just copy that, go back to RB2B, paste it, and voila, you will now have a table that automatically imports all of your website visitors into a clay table. I have actually a list of 52 people that have visited my website recently and have been imported into this table automatically. RB2B actually gives me a good amount of information on these people. So we get their first name, their last name, their email, their title, their company name, and their LinkedIn URL. So what I had to do next was use a series of enrichments within Clay to find data in order to back these personalizations. Enrichments are just ways to find different data points in Clay. If you wanted to find their email, you just type in email. If you wanted to find their phone number, you just type in phone number. We're going to start with the company posting about AI. So we can actually use an enrichment to figure out whether the company has posted recently about AI. I use the find recent posts by user or company through in the company's LinkedIn URL. And you can see here that we can actually access the posts from all the companies that these people work for. Here's a post, here's a post. We now have all this post data. And what do we do with it? I mean, we have a bunch of posts imported into our table, but we don't know which one is related to AI in any capacity. So we have to move on to the next step, which is using AI to determine this. The cool thing about Clay is you're able to use ChatGPT, but a thousand times, 2000 times, 3000 times, as many times as you'd like at scale. And it changes depending on the person or the company. So what I can do is actually use an enrichment by just going to add enrichment and typing in open AI and clicking on generate text that is able to scrape the posts that I just found about this company and find the one that most relates to AI. So I told the chat GPT prompt, pick the LinkedIn post that most relates to AI from the following LinkedIn posts and then print out the post text. If you can't find an AI related post, then print no, just print the post text, nothing else. By just clicking slash, I can import all of the posts that I just found into my table. So just clicking by this posts and then insert all. And then voila, we have all of our posts right here. When we click run, you'll see that if there's ever any AI related posts, it'll just print out the text for me. It does it automatically. So now that we have the text for the AI related posts, we can go ahead and create our congratulatory sentence based on that AI information. This first line is pretty much just congratulating people on the post that they posted about AI. I prompted another AI integration to pretty much say, use the following information about the post to create a congratulatory info and format it as congrats on text to keep the output under 10 words and make sure it sounds like it's being said casually in a conversation. We have here, congrats on closing your first investment round. Congrats on the smart cat templates launch. Congrats on being a CNBC disruptor 50 company. We can actually format a checkbox by using a formula to tell us 
check the box if there is an AI first line generated for this company. Of course, sometimes we won't be able to find AI related posts, but we don't want to just waste those leads. So next we're going to move on to the just hired for their role section. For this, all I had to do was go to my enriched person integration, scroll down to when they started their most recent job. So for this person, that's 2021, March 1st. And I printed it out into a column right here. From there, I can actually format another checkbox to check the box if the person has started their role within the past six months. So this person started it on January 1st, 2024. That is in the past six months. It's going to check the box. The next trigger that we were looking for is whether the company is hiring for sales jobs. All we had to do was throw in the company's LinkedIn and put in our job title keywords that are related to sales. And you can see here, there are quite a few open roles for some of the companies that we are reaching out to. And we have a checkbox formatted to check the box if there is more than zero roles open for sales positions. Finally, we can use a formula to actually create a first line based on which one of those intent signals this person matches. It's pretty much is saying if this is checked print this if this is checked print this if this is checked print this and it's all based on those intent signals that we are looking for in clay a couple examples came across your linkedin and as a product lead thought you might be interested in clay so that's our backup line you can create custom first lines based on intent signals that are super relevant to the prospect and is obviously showing you that the person is probably interested in your product or service we have to move on to the next personalization that we have in our copy which is a list of use cases that this company could use in clay and you can see here for each one of them it mentions the company and these are all custom recommendations as to how they could use clay to automate specific processes within their company. All I had to do for the prompt was just say, I'm gonna give you a description of the company. I'm gonna give you the person and their job title. And you need to tell me three ways that this person, given their job title, can use clay in their role to automate processes. And I gave them a long description of clay just so they knew kind of what clay did. Third, I wanted to find news about a company and use that to create a custom first line based on the news that the company has. What I did first was use an integration to find the most recent news on a company and found all the positive news categories that are associated with that company. And I wanted to create, if we found any events, a congratulatory sentence based on the news. So congrats on a $1.5 million funding round. Congrats on Pure Cares UK launch. Congrats on the Good Hill hunting launch. We have a line regardless of whether we are able to find news on the prospect or not. Next, we have ourselves the custom picture. So what I wanted to do was actually create a custom image in a little frame that says clay user of the month and put the person's profile picture on LinkedIn in that frame. Pretty much what I'm doing in the clay table here is I am sending the person's LinkedIn profile file picture, which I found through my little enriched person integration right here. So if I click on here, I can actually go ahead and find their profile picture URL right here. I sent that using an HTTP API integration. In this flow, what I'm really doing is I'm sending the person's name, their email, and their image URL to a tool called Zapier. If you're not familiar with Zapier, it's just a way to automate certain flows within your company by connecting a bunch of different technologies using APIs. I'm sending that information to Zapier into this flow. I'm catching that information using a webhook, which is what is used to catch information being sent by Clay. And then I'm sending that information to a tool called DynaPictures. DynaPictures is a way to create custom AI images at scale. So I've created this template. It says Clay user of the month. So this will change depending on the picture that I send it to. So just like any of the variables in Clay, which change based on the person or the company, this will also change based on the person or company. So I have this images table that populates with the name, the person's email, and then the image URL of our final picture. So you can see we have clay user of the month images created automatically for all of the people visiting our website. Now we have one personalization left to go, which is this first line based on how long the person has been at their company. The first thing I had to do was get their start date and tell a formula to output the number of years since that start date rounded down. And from there, all I had to do was use a formula based on that number. All I said was if this rounded years count is over one print having been at this company for this many years i'm sure you've seen your fair share of new sales tools however this one is different if it's under two i'm sure you've seen your fair share of ai tools in the year or two since joining this company but this one is seriously different how do i actually create these campaigns that i'm sending out to my website visitors. Well, because I'm doing multi-channel campaigns, LinkedIn voices, LinkedIn messages, and emails, I decided to use a tool called Log Growth Machine, which is a very powerful multi-channel tool. So I've actually built out the flow here in this little chart section. And so you can see once I start, I visit their profile, I connect with them. If they do accept it, I wait, and then I send this flow. If they don't get accepted, I send this flow. And of course, if I click on any of these, you can see exact templates that I had in my former document with all the copy. You'll see that once we send this information, it actually fills it automatically. 
ways. So we have, hey, Kayla figured I'd follow up from that potentially cringe voice message with a few ways you could use Clay to automate systems. And here are the three ways in which I could automate systems. If you'd like, I could build a demo of any of these systems for you live. Are you interested? And it's pretty much the same process for any of the LinkedIn messages or emails, except for the voice message. So Log Growth Machine actually has a really cool feature that allows you to personalize the person's first name for your voice message. Listen closely. This first part, I don't actually say. It's actually AI generated and the rest of it I did say. Hey Bryce, just came across your LinkedIn profile. That Hey Bryce part, I didn't create. AI actually found my voice, duplicated it just for that. And I think it's very powerful because AI voice as of right now isn't super believable, but that was to me. So how do you connect Clay to La Growth Machine to actually send all of this stuff over to the tool in order to get it going? All you have to do is go to the native integration, type in La Growth Machine, create or update lead, and you select the audience, which is of course the kiln site visitors in this case. And I've already actually created this integration and I've mapped out all of the different attributes I'm looking for. So their first name, their last name, their company name, their domain, their work email, their job title, and all of the custom attributes that I've created in this aforementioned flow. I send it all over to La Growth Machine and automatically it sends this entire campaign out in the way that I built it. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I hope this was valuable and uh, happy prospecting.